Well, there's no doubt about it that we all love a good cup of coffee, but what if I told you you can get not only the cup of coffee and all the caffeine, but a dose of inspiration. We're here at Inspire Coffee. It was a story that I really wanted to do. I came and, and visited the coffee shop and I said, we have to get the full story about it. Joe Clary is joining us. Thank you so much for having us here at Inspire. Yeah, no, we're, we're glad you guys are here and thankful that you're able to join us. Yes, and thank you for the, the cup of coffee. <laughs> um, like I said, you know, people can get their cup of coffee from a lot of different places. What makes Inspire Coffee different? So first of all, um, we have some of the best coffee around and the best people. I can um, attest. <laughs> and so um, our people, uh, we have employ individuals with disabilities here uh, where we're trying to create an environment where our people can learn, can grow, be developed and discipled um, into the life of the workforce um, mm -hmm. so that we can engage the community here in Greenville. People with different abilities still have uh, the same experiences that they do. Um, and to interact and be a part of that and just to see that um, function in a way in which most people have not seen. But we create a, a workforce where they can learn and grow. I mean, even just speaking with some of the parents. Um, I had a parent that was talking and say, hey, I never thought my kid would be able to make a drink. I just thought they'd be right here on the register. Mm -hmm. um, but now they, they were able to make drinks for our whole family when we came here um, to be a part of this. I think one of the best things about it is that we have a family here. Mm -hmm. um, and that it is cool to see that. And just coming here and experiencing that, you will get to experience the family of the Inspire Coffee House. And how did it all start? I know it didn't start as a, as necessarily a coffee shop for folks uh, with disabilities where they could work. It didn't start out that way. No, so we first started delivering um, coffee to people in the church through a carry, um, <laughs> just one cup at a time. And so um, that has grown so much where we ended up um, having a room in the church where we had a little home espresso machine, they would make drinks and we invite some of our community partners. Um, the gardens came in um, and they would bring all their people and we would serve them coffee and uh, donuts and different um, pastries and stuff like that. And so um, then we just saw how great it was and how our people loved it. Um, and we're like, hey, how, how can we make this come to fruition? We talked about some of the pastries. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're done by Hobnobs and Heroes, which is um, an organization that is um, baking with individuals with disabilities. And so they're baking the pastries, then um, we're buying mm -hmm. them from them and we're selling them here. It, it, it takes some self-control to not yeah, eat one right. of those a day. <laughs> and before we get out of this, I want you to talk a little bit about what Front Porch does, because I think it's really remarkable. And we have folks watching this that may be able to benefit from some of those services. Yeah, so Front Porch is supportive housing. There is an affordable piece to that, but by being a part of here, you get to be part of the family and, and really get um, supportive life. As you are trying to come out of some situation, maybe you just need a little help in that next step. And we as a church come alongside and we support them. Um, we take financial classes, we kind of help with savings. Um, we do a lot of different things to make it part of a family, but kind of help that body grow. And we can launch people back. Um, and so it's, it's a really great ministry and we're thankful to be a part of that here in Greenville. If you go to Google Maps, you can search us and it'll bring, a, bring you right here. And we have a sign out front um, just to kind of let you know where we are. But we're here in the clubhouse here at Front Porch Properties. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe, so much for having us out. Thanks for the cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh, we'll put all that information about Inspire Coffee and Front Porch at our website, livingupstatesc.com.